me it's been a while i mean damn jesus i don't even know how to do this anymore the lights on all right those lights are on oh god man it's good to be back let's go What's up everybody, my name is Mike and welcome to the DDM Game Train YouTube channel where we do game reviews, game accessories, stream coaching, tips, survivability, channel reviews. This is it, this is the place, this is the house for you. Welcome, it's a pleasure to see you. Today, we're gonna be talking about whether or not a game is streamable and how to figure that out. Some games are, some games are not. Some games should be streamed, some games should definitely not be streamed and we are here to talk about which ones they are. As always, we will put all of my links down below so that you can catch up with me get in the discord twitch where we stream every monday wednesday and sunday all right so what makes a game streamable i'm gonna sit down i mean any game can be played on the internet right any game can be popped up on a stream any game can be hooked up to the hd 60s elgato game capture card but should all games be streamed i am here to say nay i'm here to say no thank you Four big reasons and we're gonna go over each one of them and I think that you'll agree with me on most of them. So, very first one, personal interest in the game. I know that there's a lot of people out there. I know that there's a lot of people that stream FPS games. Fortnite being a big one, let's just uh, put that bad boy out there. It broke Twitch with the new release. It's the most popular game, that's it. Fortnite's the one. But should you be playing Fortnite? Are you passionate about first person shooters? Are you passionate about that particular first person shooter? I don't know if you are. And you need to ask yourself, if you are passionate about the game you're playing, you need to be invested. You need to be interested in the game you're playing because you're gonna be playing it for a while in front of tens, hundreds, thousands of people eventually. And if you are not interested in the game, if you're not passionate about what you're doing, if you're not passionate about what you're putting out there, you're gonna put together a marginal show and you're gonna get a marginal crowd. And eventually that's just gonna, it's not gonna go well. So personal interest in the game is extremely important and we wanna make sure we emphasize that every time we pick a game for us variety streamers out there, we play multiple games, we play multiple things. It is very difficult for us to isolate out a game that we're passionate about, that we're excited about because we play so many different games. And that's one of the things that we, you know, work in our favor. We play a variety of games. So no one is expecting to log in and see one game. You can say, hey, this game isn't working for me. I'm gonna swap it up. I'm gonna swap it in for something else. We're gonna tag it in. It's very important to have that kind of maneuverability with your channel and with your chat and with your group and with the people that you stream to. Because if you don't have that, if you don't have that that understanding that, hey, this game may work, this game may not. We need to be able to adapt, evolve, overcome. We wanna make sure that we emphasize that. Thing number two, good visuals. This is an interesting one because there are some vintage gamers out there and those games, they have very interesting eye popping visuals. It's very important, it's very nice to have. If you're gonna sit down and you're gonna play Snake, that may not be the most visually enticing version of the game. You wanna have something that draws in the eye. You wanna have something that brings in that viewer's attention. You wanna have something that makes them sit down and say, wow, this is really interesting. I'm gonna stay and watch this game. No, no, no. I'm a big person of let's talk to our chat. Let's make sure that we're associating with each other. Let's make sure that we're friends, that our community is strong. We wanna spend time working with them and chatting with them and being a part of what makes this fun for them. But. When there's those moments of silence, when there's, there's quiet, we wanna make sure that there's something there for them, right? We wanna make sure that the visuals are there, that is, it's enticing, it's beautiful. You know, maybe you're playing Horizon Zero Dawn and the landscape is just sprawling and beautiful, wonderful to look at. Maybe you're playing Legends of Runeterra. Legends of Runeterra is a relatively new card game. It's not Magic the Gathering, it's, it's none of those, but what it has going for it is the visuals on the cards are amazing to see. Magic the Gathering Arena, same thing. Think. Beautiful visuals, great gameplay, lots of things to talk about, great on-camera presence for that game. You wanna focus in on those minor details because again, you wanna catch the eye and you wanna keep the eye. Eventually you're gonna be streaming to tens, hundreds, thousands of peoples and we want to make sure that that interaction, that attention getting, 
that the game is giving you is maximized for you, for the stream, and for the viewer. These are really important things that you need to keep in mind when you're picking that next game that you're gonna play or when you're trying to get to that next level in the game or whether you're trying to get through a dialogue key. You have to work it out. You have to pay attention to the details to make sure that your viewers are getting the value that you put out there originally. Third thing, the game needs to afford you the opportunity to interact with your chat. Some games are very difficult with this. Some games are very dialogue heavy. And this is a very subjective thing in that some people work really well with dialogue heavy games. They can voice act the dialogue or they can, they can interact or they can talk about it. Or they know the lore behind what's being said so they can really feed into that level of conversation that's happening. There are other games that are like the card games, right? Legends of Runeterra, Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel, links talk through your plays talk through your decisions talk through the things that you're doing on the fly to make the viewer understand what's happening to interact with the viewer to interact with your chat maybe there's games with large amounts of downtime team fight tactics great example of a game that requires your attention for a set amount of time and then you hit go and when you hit go, the game does its thing, gives you the time to look at your chat and say, hey, what's going on with you? What's happening here? How's everyone's day going? How's everybody doing? While you're bouncing back and forth, it's not so attention aggressive that you're not gonna be able to participate in the chat while also participating in the game. And the fourth most important thing is if the game fits the vibe of your channel. My stream, again, every Monday, Wednesday, Sunday is a very energetic one. It's a very family oriented one. It's a very community community-based stream. We have a ton of fun talking. We have a ton of banter back and forth. We play a lot of really interesting games. If one day I sign on and I'm playing an extremely dialogue heavy, slow, kind of trudge through the mud game, my viewers are gonna be disappointed in that. They're not going to get that same value proposition that I gave them prior to this stream. They're expecting excitement. It takes the vibe of your channel and puts it into a spot that it doesn't intend to be, which feels very strange from a continuity perspective for your channel. So you wanna make sure that the games that you're putting up there really fit the vibe that you're going for. You wanna make sure that you're, you're doing the things that you wanna do. You're making sure that the viewers are seeing the things you want them to see. If you're an energetic person, play energetic games. If you're a quiet, introverted person and you just wanna talk and, and keep this nice, calm, home kind of vibe, play something calmer. Play something with a little bit less, you know, of the, the angry loud noises, pops and bangs and bright colors and excitement. If you're a DJ and you want loud pops and bangs and craziness and everything else, there are games for that. And you have to lean into what fits the vibe of your channel. It's crucial that you respect that. It's crucial that you understand it. So some examples of games that really work for the DDM Game Train channel are things like Team Fight Tactics as I previously mentioned, gives me the time to sit down, ask my chat how they're doing, ask them how their day is, and explain to them what decisions I'm making, why I'm doing the things that I'm doing, while not removing me completely from the game. Another great one is Horizon Zero Dawn. There's a little bit of storyline in it. It's dialogue intensive in certain parts, but if you hit a lull where there's a low point, it does give you the opportunity to go out and add some exciting flair to it. You can go hunting, you can go farming, and the way that they farm in the game can be very action-packed it's very exciting in the down moments it's a very very broad sprawling environment so the visuals are beautiful and the graphics are top tier another really great one for us is the pokemon sword games recent expansion just came out and i'm very excited to dive into it but what it does is it provides this nostalgic game franchise all coming together all being part of one thing all bringing us that have played the Pokemon games together and really kind of funneling down and having a great time doing it. Pokemon Sword is a very low key kind of game, fits the vibe beautifully, and it causes a lot of nice feels. It's a very chill Pokemon and chill Sundays. It's kind of becoming a mainstay. It's important for you to look at all of these things that I'm saying, big four here. Your personal interest looks good on camera, fits the vibe of your channel and gives you the ability to interact with your chat. These four things should be looked at every time that you go to pick a new game. 
I hope you liked the video. I hope the video helps you pick some new games for your channel. If you're thinking about changing up your games, let me know in the comments what games you stream now and what games you're thinking about streaming in the future. It'd be really interesting to see that dynamic, to see the shift. And feel free to link your Twitch channels in the comments below. Would love to see more people. Would love to add them to the community. Don't be afraid to click on our Discord link below. Thank you so much for coming out. Thank you so much for watching the video. Smash the like button, smash the sub button, and don't forget, enjoy your games.